Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and the United Nations has come out with a dire emergency report stating that if you don't start cutting your carbon dioxide that you breathe out of your mouth and out of your cars, then the whole world is in trouble. If you don't submit to the New World Order Globalist Authority of the United Nations and their Agenda 2030 17 Sustainable Goals, well then you are the cause of the world chaos coming in 2030. If you don't downsize your car, if you don't downsize your home, if you don't open your borders, then my friends, the world is doomed because of people like you. If you don't limit your consumption and make yourself a little poorer and a little more submissive to the new world order, then you're doomed. And this is via a report put out by the IPCC. But I want to start with something. Here's the thing. Since God created the earth, there has been climate change. Climate change is normal. It's all part of the process, right? But the way the politics of this has been set up is if uh, it gets hot, they're going to scream, climate change, global warming, cooling, whatever it is. Or if it gets cold, global cooling, climate change. Or if it does nothing, climate change. Because it obviously fits the narrative. I scream, it's a freaking scam. You are being scammed. They have taken the word climate change, something that happens normally, rolled it into politics, given it to a bunch of political bureaucrats, and put them in charge of the science behind it. When you put government bureaucrats in charge of things like emissions, there's no way to have definitive science on something as foolish as climate change. Because pretty much everyone is going to say, yeah, climate changes, right? And now they've looped it into one big fat scam that follows the narrative of Agenda 2030. And like I stated at the beginning, we all need to panic because by 2030, we're doomed. We're doomed. Check out this report put out by the WashingtonPost.com. The world has just over a decade to get climate change under control, says UN scientists. Here's another one from New York Post. Terrifying climate change warning. 12 years until we're doomed. Here's another, MMN.com. We have 12 years to turn things around, warns Global Climate Report and CNN. Planet has only until 2030 to stem catastrophic climate change. Experts warn. Are we really all going to uh, be doomed by 2030? No. They said we'd be doomed, I don't know, 20 years ago. And then uh, five years ago, right? <laughs> Why are they always wrong? Because it's a sham. But here's where they're getting it from. This is a report from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC. It's called Global Warming of 1.5 Degrees Celsius. Now they begin this report on page six by labeling human activities as one of the reasons and main causes for global warming, which they're now calling climate change. It goes on to talk about the hazards of CO2, you know, the stuff that you and I breathe out, we breathe in, oxygen, we breathe out CO2, and how bad that is hurting the planet. Which, by the way, it's not CO2 that quote-unquote heats a planet, it's the flippin' sun. It's all part of the solar cycles. More specifically, we're having a solar minimum right now. It goes on to reference the year 2030, over 31 times in this report, and every time they reference it, they reference it with devastating situations. In other words, right, if you don't comply to Agenda 2030 within the next 12 years, then you are doomed. If you don't start paying a carbon dioxide tax to the United Nations, then, then the planet is at risk. See? If you don't downsize that car and stop buying stuff and, and become more poor and socialize your countries, then you're doomed. It's a sham 
like no shams we have ever seen before. And you know what? They're following this sham in the good old fashioned United States of America. Check out this latest report. This one is called the Fourth National Climate Assessment. Now this assessment is done every four years by Congress in order to give a detailed report to the United Nations about the progress that we have made towards quote unquote sustainable development. Now as the IPCC report, this report is also very tainted and it's a pure sham full of lie upon lie upon lie. But the entire idea behind behind it is that it pushes a new world order globalist agenda, an agenda that screams your compliance. Let me take you to the summary here. And under the summary, you see communities. They've got uh, about 10 or 12, excuse me, subtopics within this. But I want to focus on the first one here, communities. It says future climate change is expected to further disrupt many areas of life, exasperating existing challenges to prosperity posed by aging and deteriorating infrastructure, by stressed ecosystem and economic inequality. Let me just pause. Here's what they're saying. Climate change, changes in climate, not necessarily cooling or global warming or cooling or whatever, because remember they dubbed them together, but future climate change is expected to disrupt challenges to prosperity. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how the two go together uh, other than, you know, if your house gets burned by a wildfire or your house gets taken over by an earthquake or something like that. Yeah, but these are normal parts of, well, nature. They happen to everyone, rich, poor, doesn't matter what color you are. Nature strikes us all, right? Okay, but it goes on to state that it also messes with prosperity via stressed ecosystems and economic equality. Economic equality is simply the wealth gap between people. How does the wealth gap affect prosperity? <laughs> it, it, it's ludicrous and nonsense writing, right? Okay, it goes on. Impacts within and across regions will not be disrupted equally. People who are already vulnerable, including lower income, and other marginalized communities have lower capacity to prepare for and cope with extreme weather and climate related events and are expected to experience greater impacts. So if you're poor or a minority, they're saying you're going to be hit harder because you can't prepare. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Middle class, uh, poor class, rich class, all alike get struck by I don't know, hurricanes and tornadoes. The hurricanes and tornadoes don't say I'm gonna hit the poor house, but not the rich house, or I'm gonna hit the white girl and not the black girl, or I'm gonna hit uh, the Hispanic girl and not the white one. I mean, hello, nature is not prejudice for crying out loud, but it seems that this document is calling nature prejudice. Another insane statement. This is how you know that there's an agenda when they start having to make ludicrous ideals to fit the narrative. What happened in California? Houses burned down. It didn't uh, say I'm gonna burn the, the poor house but not the rich house. It took them all. It hits everyone. Absolutely 100% a narrative underway. But that's why I wanted to show you. It goes on to talk about the economy and it says that climate change is expected to cause growing losses to our infrastructure here in America and our property. <laughs> no, duh. Infrastructure has been deteriorating forever, right? This is why we have museums with deteriorating infrastructure from the past. That's a part of life. It has nothing to do with global warming, climate change, cooling. We prepare for infrastructure changes within the U.S. government, within all governments. It happens. It's not uncommon. It goes on to bring up other topics, uh, and I'm going to breeze through these, but interconnected impacts, actions to reduce risk, water, health. And I have to show you this section in health, but it says populations, including older adults, children, low-income communities, and some communities of color are, are often disproportionately affected and less resilient to the health impacts of climate change. <laughs> Huh, I'm not quite sure again why they're making this like, like it can attack a certain people group. No, everybody's health 
is affected. No matter how rich or poor you are, cancer and health risks strike everyone. But it seems our weather is prejudiced. And then there's a few weather. I'll just breeze through. Um, indigenous people, e ecosystems, agriculture, infrastructure, ocean and coast, tourism and recreation. In the end, this is all about a fake narrative in order to get you to vote a certain way, get you to believe a certain way, get you to feel and have a bleeding heart towards the United Nations who's trying to save the planet, who twisted your word climate change and made it where you cannot deny it, where a scientist who studies changes in climate has to now admit that yeah, there's changes in climate, but when they admit that, something that's happened for decades and years and since, I don't know, God created the earth, now it's looped into global warming climate lie. How's that? That's like calling a healthcare plan, affordable healthcare plan, when it's anything but. That's how you know that they're lying out their teeth because it does the opposite. And there's a narrative so much deeper. And this one is such a lie that they had to take a word that has been standard for decades and make the word a negative and mix the two together. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning into my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, Lisa Haven. It's below in the description box. Also subscribe to this one. And don't forget to check out my partner at Virtual Shield. It's hidewithlisa.com. Right now they have some amazing specials over the Christmas holiday. Um, if you wanna keep your loved ones safe and you know, let nobody know what they're looking at or searching on their computer, it's nobody's business. That is what a VPN does. It keeps anyone and anyone from knowing what you look at. It's no one's business. Whether you're looking at Christmas trees or, or whether you're looking at your next purchase of a car, it's no one's business. So check out hidewithlisa.com. Well, I'm Lisa Haven signing out.